Let's go now to the Upper West region. And though the number of child marriages in the Wa West district has significantly dropped, non-governmental organizations and traditional rulers in the area are leaving no stone unturned in the fight to end the act. The Wa West district in 2019 and 2020 recorded 12 cases of child marriage. The figure, however, went down to two cases last year. NGO World Vision, with support from the district assembly, has launched a campaign aimed at having a net zero case number. Correspondent Rafiq Salam reports from Wichia. The past three years has seen the Wobbles district of the Upper West region record a total of eight child marriages, 154 teenage pregnancies, and 52 cases of child abuse. Non governmental organization World Vision unhappy about the shameful and dehumanizing act that children in the district are subjected to embark on a campaign to end the old age obsolete practices. Among the trio, who shall practice this and civil society organizations are more worried about is the issue of child marriages, though reported figures from the district last year has decreased. As a result of that, World Vision in collaboration with the World District Assembly and some major stakeholders, including traditional rulers, held a campaign aimed at creating the awareness to halt the practice. It was held on the team and all child marriages now. It takes us all. Francis Mensa is the area programs manager of World Vision. He threw more light on the campaign. This is from Social Welfare Department tells us that child marriage, teenage pregnancies, and all the other child protection issues are in the ascendancy. They are rising day and night, and there's a need for us as civil society and the central government and all the traditional leaders come together to resolve this problem. So today, if we are here, the key thing we are here to do is to make sure that we all become aware of this menace, the child protection issues, Key among them, child marriage. Child marriage. Child marriage. Teenage pregnancies. And parent irresponsibility. Parents trying to support by not up to the that level that we have been doing. In a brief remark before launching the campaign, World Vision Child Protection Coordinator Barbara Yabuasari noted that child marriages has become a global phenomenon where 22 girls in every minute loses their choices. She also spoke about what the campaign sought to achieve. So according to United Nations, we have 2 million child brides in Ghana. 2 million children, girls, who are married off in Ghana. These are our doctors, our judges, our lawyers, and our teachers. So through this campaign, we want to influence laws and pol policies and advocate at the national and local levels on these laws to be implemented. We want to influence positive change in behavior and attitudes and norms that drive child marriage. We want to engage the media to spread the word around and then to empower children with life skills and resilience, give the children information so that they will be able to protect themselves as well as educate all others on the harmful effect of child marriage. What was the district chief executive, Vada Dirute, pledged the commitment of the assembly to ensure that the campaign achieves its intended target? So the people of Wild West are poised to give all the support, the needed support that World Vision needs to implement all their programs in the district. Some participants share their thoughts on the campaign. It's very good for our com community to help us to reduce child marriage, for us to complete our educations, to get our work, for to get what we want to be become in future, our doctors, lawyers, teachers in future, for us to help our community members or our area members and our parents.